In this video, we'll take a look at how you can back up files in Windows 10 using the file history feature and successfully transfer them to a new computer. So first we need some files and I've already created some test files on the desktop which I'm going to use for my backup. First let's enable the backup by going to the history folder in the home tab. If you don't see the ribbon here, just go over to the top right hand corner of the window and click on the little arrow. This will expand the ribbon and reveal the history folder. So when you go into the folder, you can see no file history was found. We know this because we don't have it configured yet, so let's click on the configure file history settings link. Here you can see that it's going to copy files from my libraries, desktop, contacts and favorites. I have a 16 gig USB attached which I'll use as my backup drive and you can see it's showing as a removable disk for the D drive. Normally you would use a larger device to back up files to, but for this demo 16 gig is more than enough. So when you turn on the backup, it will say that file history is saving copies of your files for the first time. So this has run pretty quick as there's not many files to back up. Once the backup is complete, go up to restore personal files and here you can see the test files have been successfully backed up. And we can see if we go to the USB that our file history folder has been created which contains the backed up files. So I've gone and switched over to another Windows 10 machine which I'll use to restore the files to. I've connected the USB and if we have a look in File Explorer you can see the USB is attached. The desktop folder contains no files so we'll go ahead and restore the files here. First we need to enable the file history backup so once again let's click on the history icon for this. Configure file history settings. Now this is where you need to be careful. The urge for many people would just be to select the turn on button to start creating backups. But this would be a mistake as it would create a new backup. Which will prevent you from being able to restore your files from your original backup. What you need to do is tick the box for I want to use a previous backup on this file history drive, then select an existing backup, and then turn on file history. If you want to continue to use the drive for backups, you can run a backup now. Otherwise, you can just go up to the restore personal files. Okay, so you can see the backup I've just taken which shows an edge shortcut, but if we select the back arrow at the bottom of the window, you'll see this brings us back to the backup from the previous computer. Let's select all the files, and select the green button at the bottom of the screen, which will restore the files back to the original location. And there you go, all the files are now restored to the desktop. So that's how you restore your files from one Windows 10 computer to another Windows 10 computer. So I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching and don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe for more tutorials.